how would philanthropy change? How would policy change? How would business practice change? If the real goal were well-being, human well-being and the well-being of our planet, if the real measure were dignity, uh, and if the real method was the capture of human ingenuity. How then, as philanthro activists, can we ensure that respect and dignity are at the center of development policy and poverty alleviation strategies. And I think the one way of the dignity is when you listen. When you listen to the people, when you understand the community, how they're doing their thing. What they're looking for, they're not looking for handouts. They are for looking for opportunity. People are the real wealth of nations. And by the way, all the empirical work and all the analysis shows that if you look after people, economies and societies look after themselves. If you are here, as I said, you are, are a global citizen, aware of these global development challenges, interested in developing the right kind of world for all of us. As philanthropists, you do get a chance to be agile and flexible, and I think one of the most important things is collaboration among philanthropists. There's a great need for us to partner together to build on the successes and the lessons learned and the challenges of local organizations. I, when I started this journey, I really believed, you know, philanthropy didn't have much to say about this. We didn't need it. It's really about investment funds. It's really about building companies. You don't need help. It's self-help. It's sustainable, etc. And I quickly was, was humbled. There has been a process of experimentation and innovation, which together amount to a transformation. They're not there yet. These are nascent movements. But if together in forums like this, if we can forge partnerships, we can turn this into a revolution. I'm optimistic that here we are in Silicon Valley, that the convergence of philanthropy and technology will indeed solve some of the problems that we face. I'm the ultimate optimist <laughs> uh, in terms of if the youth have, they know what the solutions are. We just need to give them the platform, hear their voices, uh, stimulate debate and discussions, and we can solve the problems.